My name is Boyson Wipulomokone, and uh, I'm a, an addict in recovery. And this is my ninth year now in recovery and my fifth year in marriage. I started using ecstasy in 1994. And I was still a student by then. And this came about when I discovered that I had a gift of music. And I fell in love with ecstasy because everything about me when I had taken ecstasy, I felt so perfect, I felt so good, I felt a sense of sweet release, but I didn't know the repercussions that were to come after. I didn't pass my Form 5. I finished my Form 5 in 1997, but I only have three subjects that are recorded in my Cambridge certificate because the rest of the other subjects I haven't set for them. As I went on in life, I even became a young absent father to my two daughters because I felt like if my father was able to leave me, so could I. So I just continued what my father did. He left me, so I left somebody too. But actually that was not, um, being growing up without a father was not an influence enough to make me to become a substance user or a drug addict. It came out of the choices that I made and from the pressure that I received from the people that were coercing me into using ecstasy. I ended up in jail at a young age. In jail I was the youngest inmate, I was 19 years of age. But I didn't realize that each and every day when I was taking my ecstasy tablets, I was digging my grave deeper because I remember when I was admitted at Princess Marina Hospital, I was bleeding profusely because of ecstasy. And on the third day, I felt like I was dying and I even had a little prayer that was saying, God, take me. Because I knew during my heydays when I was a substance user, I was a cheat, I was a thief. I stole from people I got money from people through ways that were deceiving. And then after that, I just felt like, no, I don't want to go back to that people, to the community and the society itself. And for me to become this person, it was very difficult. I had to become an ultimate sacrifice to get myself back. In 2015, I had a prayer walk from Haborone to Francistown. It was a prayer, of, a prayer walk of my self-discovery, of me regaining my composure, because I knew that I wanted to become a better person. So I walked Haborone and Francis town, and yes, I, 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 I felt pain because of the withdrawal symptoms. I literally got sick. But I had decided and committed within me that, do you know what, for my mom to get her son back, I had to be that sacrifice. So really, I was never ever in a rehabilitation facility. I just decided on my own that I'm gonna make this happen for me. I'm gonna do this. And that is why this time around, I'm celebrating my ninth year in active recovery and five years in my marriage and the lady that I got married to we met at church because I felt at times that church was the best place for me and she is the only one that saw that there was something extraordinary about me and she became a partner and a friend and that is when in 2018 we got married because we felt we were meant for each other. And in 2016, actually, we had an NGO called Youth of Hope Safe Haven Organization. That is a platform that we created so that it could amplify our voices when we spoke against the substance and drug abuse, so that my voice could be heard far and wide. You know, I've realized that each and every one of us have the answers to what is eating us. And Moreover, that we need higher power, you know, to guide and direct us on what to do. The answers are within. 
the victory and the triumph is within, but through another support system which comes from the family and the people that you associate with. That's when somebody who is in the dark can actually realize that, you know, when I say my problems or when I share my problems with the people that I, you know, that I believe I trust most, I will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel because that's where the support system is at. But it first starts with you. Recovery is within oneself. Many families lose their loved ones due to drugs and substance abuse. Join us for the Mass Combat Nani Walk this year to take the necessary steps towards social recovery.